What is up, Dream Media fam? Chana here, and we are going to be talking today about the Focal Cora 816 floor standing speaker. Is it the speaker for you? We're going to check out some stats, and of course, I'm going to give you my review, evaluation, and compare it to some other speakers as well. And we're going to get into it right after the intro. The Cora speaker line from Focal is their entry-level speaker, and this pair of Cora 816 floor-standing speakers retail for $1,800. The Cora 816 has a 1-inch aluminum magnesium inverted dome tweeter, two 6.5-inch slate fiber woofers, one for mids and bass, and the other one for bass alone. Below the slate fiber woofers, we have a front firing port, and on the back we have a 5-way binding post. The Cora 816 has a frequency response of 50 Hz to 28,000 Hz, nominal impedance of 8 ohms, sensitivity rating of 89.5 dB, and a power handling of 40 to 200 watts. Now, if you haven't seen my other video on Dream Media about why I like Focal speakers, definitely check that out. We'll put a link down in the description and with a card up top. Uh, basically, it's a handmade speaker. like. It's a different level of speaker when they are all handmade. The drivers are handmade. Everything's made in France. And that's really, really cool for a few different reasons. One of them is that they get to use whatever materials they want to. And in this new Cora line, the mid base and base drivers are made of recycled carbon fibers, which are proprietary to Focal. They are rigid, but light and more responsive and have better damping than the drivers in the previous entry line Focal's the chorus line. Okay, so how do they sound? Well, first let's talk about power. Since they have a sensitivity of 89.5 dB, that's pretty close to 90. So I would say you're pretty well off powering this with an AV receiver. You shouldn't have any problems. I have the Marantz SR7015 as my front end, but I do have a power amp powering these two speakers and I ran them full range with about 300 watts going into each speaker. I know it's a little, it's a little overkill, but Hey, you know, that's, that's what I do. Anyway, these speakers love the extra power and I went through my demo tracks, which I'll link down in the description as well. And it's basically a three and a half hour playlist, I think right now, which will take you through all different types of music. Uh, a couple of them are just purely for testing out the highs and um, that's going to be your Florence in the Machine, and that's going to be Kings of Leon. Those albums were mixed very, very bright. So if there's any kind of boost in the treble at the 2 to 6K point where it's super sensitive and, and you know, kind of harsh um, for us to hear, um, you'll notice it with these two songs, especially when you're cranking it. And for me, I did not hear any of that. Like I didn't have any fatigue with these speakers running any kind of Florence machine or any kind of Kings of Leon. So definitely good. So for the highs and mids, they are crystal clear and there is no fatiguing. There's no harshness. I believe it's there's no bump in the frequency response there due to what I found out listening to those specific tracks. Now, I wouldn't say this is a laid back sound. I would say these are more forward, but not too bright or harsh. I was able to hear the vocals without any issues. And usually with these songs and, you know, some other speakers uh, like horn loaded speakers or speakers with aluminum tweeters, I usually have to go down and uh, notch the treble down a couple just to, you know, listen at my desired level. And after a little while, you know, it starts to fatigue a bit. But that was not the case with the Cora 816. As far as bass is concerned, tight, punchy, and overall, I was very impressed. Now, one of the things that I do is when I'm listening to two channel, I run at full range. I don't run any room correction. So I have them set up perfectly, you know, equilateral triangle kind of situation. That's how I have it set up a little bit of toe in and I'm good to go. Now, since my system is in the living room, my, you know, wife and kid actually listen to this more than I do. So, you know, the speakers were very well broken in long before I gave my critical review and started listening to movies, music, TV. But I'll tell you this, you know, we were watching a lot of TV shows 
And I kind of had to like wonder like, is my subwoofer on? Because I'm pretty sure I turned it off. Like I turned it off in the Marantz controls. So it, there should be no signal going to the subwoofer. And then I double checked and yes, they are physically off as well. So I was very surprised about the bass. Now, when we're talking about a $2,000 pair of speakers, you know, bass is definitely one of the things I'm looking for. And I just reviewed the ELAC, you know, Unify Reference Towers over on my channel, Technodad. And one thing I noticed is, you know, I put these Coras back in place after I listened to the ELAX, and the Cora has way more bass than the ELAX, and the ELAX cost $200 more for the pair. I know there's a few differences, of course, you know, in the mids and highs, they use a concentric driver. So, you know, they've got that, uh, you know, wide sweet spot for sure. Um, but, you know, the bass was just lacking. And, and, and when you're paying this much for a speaker, you know, you want it to be good. And now, unless you're, if you're, you know, pairing it with a subwoofer, you know, for home theater use, cool. Definitely do that. If you're a two-channel guy that likes to run a 2.1 system, also very cool, but these speakers will handle just full range coming from your integrated amplifier or your AV receiver. As far as imaging and soundstage, the 816 are not hard to get into place. And once they are in place, I can find a center image really, really quickly. The sweet spot isn't super huge, but it's not super narrow. I would say it's probably about average for this type of design speaker, and you will definitely have no problem at all. Now, if you're looking at this and saying, hey, Chana, this is cute, but I need a little bit more. If you want to go with something a little bit more impressive, definitely check out the Cora 826, which has three drivers. It's going to have one mid bass driver and two bass drivers, and that retails for $1,100. And if you want to take it up another notch, they do have a pair that have the Dolby Atmos like ceiling bounce like integrated into the top. That is the Cora 826D, which retails for $1,400 each. Now we're getting up there in price and at the same time, it's got a little bit more. Now all these speakers come in three finishes. You've seen the black here. There's also a light wood with like a cream front and a dark wood with like this, I don't know how to, I don't know, is that a teal or a dark teal front? Anyway, you've got a few choices for colors. So if you have some sort of decor that you wanna try and match, you know, especially to help out with the uh, good old WAF, that's the uh, wife acceptance factor, definitely um, check them out on our website, dreammedia.com. So the big question you might be having is, is this speaker right for me? Is it right for my home theater? Is it right for my two channel setup? Well, that depends. You know, are you ready to, you know, stray away from all the cookie cutter design speakers with all the drivers are made in a different country and, you know, they just kind of slap them into whatever enclosure they want. They have aggressive crossover networks. You know, if you're kind of over that and want to try something, definitely check out the Focal Cora. Now, Focal has been making OEM speakers like drivers and tweeters for other companies for a couple of decades now. So they are masters in this art. So if you want a different experience with a higher level of speaker, definitely check them out. So overall, I think the Cora 816 is a very well-rounded floor standing speaker. It's got a little bit more bass than other speakers, you know, a couple hundred dollars more than them. Uh, mids and highs are crystal clear, not harsh. And I think this would work out in any kind of living room situation. It will work out in a two channel situation and it would work out for a good home theater experience as well. Now we have plenty of these in stock. Just contact us at Dream Media to get a quote going for you and help you piece together your next upgrade. Well, that's pretty much it for this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. My name is Chana for Dream Media, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Oh my gosh, is that the Dream Media van in my neighborhood? What? Wait! Dream Media, come back! We need you!